Oh, Alvin, where's my cheat sheet? That's Zoe. That's all Zoe. Yes. Yeah, so I heard. I don't, I don't see her. Okay, good evening, everyone, and thank you so much for coming. And uh, the January 12th, 2023 meeting of the Rent Control Board is called to order. Would the Secretary please take the roll? Yes, Commissioner Gonska. Can you turn on all of the mics? For I don't have any way to turn them on. Here. Commissioner Ivanov. Here. Commissioner Leslie. Here. Vice Chair Foster. Here. My mic didn't turn on. We're going to work on that. We're having okay, now turn. We have oh. mic issues. Um, okay. Uh, look, please join me in the salute to our flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right. Um, if my fellow commissioners have had a moment, we will entertain a motion to approve the minutes of the last board meeting. My apologies. I mean, it's okay. Take your time. I move that we approve the minutes. A second. All right, if you'll call the roll, please. Commissioner Ivanov. Yes. Commissioner Leslie. Yes. Commissioner Gonska. Yes. Vice Chair Foster. Yes. Motion carries. OK, moving on to item six. Uh, Madam Executive Director, do we have any special agenda items tonight? Yes, we have a few. Before we uh, move to the one, uh, first one on the agenda, I'd like just to make a couple of announcements. First, I'd like to welcome everybody to the first uh, Rent Control Board meeting of 2023. I hope everybody enjoyed the holidays and ready to get to work for 2023. Um, I wanted to mention that the changes in rent levels as a result of the passage of Measure RC uh, become effective in February, on February 1st. Since we last met, uh, the agency mailed to all property owners a report of the adjusted maximum allowable rent um, re resulting from that change. We also sent letters to all tenants in controlled units informing them of the change. So that should go into effect on February 1st. We asked owners to provide 30 days notice to tenants of that change. We've been very busy in the office this past couple of weeks answering questions from both property owners and tenants. So I think our mailing was received and hopefully that will go smoothly. This is the first time in the history of rent control that we've had a change in the general adjustment mid-year. The other thing I wanted to mention is that the city's homeless um, count is happening on the night of January 25th. And the city is still looking for volunteers to assist with that. It happens um, from 11 p.m. till 3 a.m. And the count results um, measure how local and regional st strategies are working and help inform how and where resources are deployed. So volunteers um, who are interested or people interested in volunteering can Sign up through the city's website at santamonica.gov. The training will be done virtually, but the count will be in person out of um, Santa Monica Catholic community. So anybody interested, please sign up for that. And that's what I had for announcements. And then the first item on the agenda is recognition of Carolyn Tarosis's We have uh, two people who wish to speak on that item I'll let first. You, I'll let you yeah, and by the way, first I want to commend staff. Uh, if the public doesn't know, they've taken an average of over a hundred calls per day uh, regarding Measure RC, and we're really glad that the that the word is out there, and that whether or not landlords have sent notices or not, the rent board has, and so it sounds like it really has um, reached people's homes. So 
Great job, everybody on staff. And uh, for I have two speakers on item 6A, uh, Sonia Fox Sultan and Jennifer Kennedy. In that order, if you'd like to take the microphone. And actually, I'd like to ask Councilmember Trosis to join us on the dais. Yes. Come on. Come on up here. One last time. We've got we've got a chair for you. Yeah, we got a chair for you. Come on. <laughs> you can come sit by Allison or you can sit by Danny. Your choice. Very embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> um, hi. Yes, I I feel honored to be here to thank Carolyn Terosis. And um, I'm speaking first on behalf of Santa Monicans for Renters' Rights and on behalf of the tenants of Santa Monica, who are 75% approximately of the residents of Santa Monica, to thank Carolyn for the amazing work she's done on the rent board and even outside of the rent board, but especially here tonight about her work on the rent board. and. We are very excited that you are now going to be on the council. We congratulate you once again on your election to city council. And we know with your dedicated um, efforts and your hard work on behalf of all the people of Santa Monica that your, your term or terms on the council are going to be very successful and that you're going to continue to do wonderful things both um, at, as a council member and we look forward to working together with you, as I'm sure the entire community does. So thank you again for your great service to our community these past many years. And we look forward to uh, continuing to work with you. And um, we really appreciate you. So thank you so much, Carolyn. And <laughs> thank you, Sonia. Jennifer Kennedy. Hi, Carolyn. Um, I'm also speaking on behalf of Santa Monica's for renters' rights this evening. Um, if I, we, you know, it would be great if we had so, even more members of SMER here to um, congratulate you and to say thank you. Um, I would like to extend my deepest gratitude to Carolyn Tarosis for her dedicated service on the Rent Control Board. Your tireless efforts to address the needs of renters in Santa Monica have not gone, gone unnoticed. Your dedication to finding solutions for tenants year after year and to addressing issues such as eviction protection during the pandemic emergency has made a significant impact on the lives of many individuals and families in our city. We are fortunate, fortunate to have such an attentive and compassionate member of our community elected by the voters to serve as council member now. This is a testament to your hard work, dedication, and the trust that the community has placed in you. Your passion for making a difference in the community and your leadership skills will undoubtedly be an asset to the council. And I would just like to doing all the good things for all Santa Monicans. As I saw on the rent board, I know your positive contributions will have a lasting impact on our community through your work on the council. Thank you so much for your service. Yeah, it'll be as long as I decide it's going to be, OK? <laughs> she said, let's keep it brief. <laughs> uh, I think we have a few words for Carolyn. Does anybody want to start? I'd like to recognize Executive Director Condon. I'm sorry. Uh, we did have a late request to speak on this item. From on this item? Yes, from okay. Zoe Montaner. Uh, will we agree to accept the late chit? Accept the late chit. Oh. Yeah. Yes. yes. Okay. Um, hi, Carolyn. Um, I'm sorry I'm late. Um, I was locked in my bathroom for two hours, and the police and the fire department had to come and jump through my bathroom window to get me out. So I didn't have a time to write something, but I'm going to speak from my heart. Um, I told um, Anastasia that your first day 
and after you were sworn in as a council member, was a um, class act on how to work on the dais. And for of that want to be part of public service, it was an incredible class on how to be prepared and strategize and think on your feet and be ready to advocate for your ideas. We have not agreed in certain items, which is okay because, you know, difference of opinions is what democracy is. But I am so grateful that you also think, after speaking to Kurt, that um, we have a right, we need to have a right to law, lawyers and representation as tenants. And if I'm elected tonight, I will just advocate for that with really, really long hours of work because it's one of the things that should be fundamental as housing. You know, if I've been in a situation that I have to go to legal aid to get services, but they cannot represent all the cases that they take. They help you to answer the unlawful detainer, but that is a wonderful um, initiative that I plan to continue to advocate for. And again, um, I just thank you for your courage, your class, your grace. I met your mother during the campaign, and it was such a funny moment. Um, I know that you are going to do great things at the um, city council, and I'm grateful to have met you at the beginning of your service when you were trying to get appointed to the Women's Commission, and uh, you were so frustrated, and look at you now, you know, so um, sometimes God has bigger plans than the ones that we have for ourselves, and you are an example of that. So I'm speaking with our notes from my heart, and I just wish you the best. Thank you. Tracy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, like the others, um, Carolyn, I just want to thank you for six wonderful years that you dedicated to the business of the Rent Control Board. Um, you were so thoughtful and so fair in your approach to everything thought things through thoroughly, which is important. We're always well prepared and very creative. And, you know, it was you and uh, Commissioner Foster, who, or Vice Chair Foster, who started the conversation about the things that resulted in the measures this year that really made a difference for renters in Santa Monica. And um, I'm so pleased that you've been elected to the City Council. I know you're going to do great things there. You'll continue to um, understand the needs of the renters in Santa Monica and the property owners. Um, and your plate will be much larger, but it's great to know that you um, spent the six years with us and you'll take that knowledge with you to the Council. So thank you for everything that you've done uh, for the board and for this agency and for the residents and property owners in Santa Monica. Hey, huh? <laughs> Commissioner Ivanov. So, oh so Carolyn, we uh, we never got a chance to serve together on the rent board, but uh, we did get a chance to get to know each other over the last year, particularly during the campaign season. Uh, I think I speak for everybody on this dais and the agency as a whole that I think you're going to be an excellent representative for this city on the council. Um, I'm excited to see all the amazing things that I know you're going to accomplish. Um, and I just want to wish you best of luck in your new endeavor, and uh, thank you for your service to this board. Thank you. Thanks, Danny. <laughs> Carolyn, I couldn't be prouder. I couldn't be prouder. Um, as I've said to other people, you know, as I've gotten to know you, you know I just love you. I love you. <laughs> Period. Um, I know that we've gotten a good councilwoman as when you were elected. As I said in our last meeting, thanks, thanks for serving with me. Mm -hmm. It was only, what, two or three meetings in person, and I knew you were already out of here. <laughs> so I thank you for your service here at this Rent Control Board. You have been fair, you've been just, and you've been loved by many 
of the tenants here in Santa Monica who have felt your thoughtfulness and your great care. Thank you very much. Commissioner Gonska. Carolyn, just want to say thank you for really for laying the groundwork to get us to where we are today. And I think uh, you're somebody I've looked up to uh, during the summer months and just sort of starting to, for myself, starting to run for this position. Uh, and then even in the few brief meetings we've had together, uh, definitely somebody I look up to. And, uh, you know, now as you pass the baton to some of the younger uh, or more the newer members of the board. Uh, <laughs> It's not a slight at all. You've been here for how many years? Censure. What are the rules on censure? <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but no, but thank you. And I, <laughs> um, but I, it's not it's not as sad as when other people have left the board either because they've had to move away or lost an election or termed out. So at least we'll still have you as a colleague on the city council. And we look forward to working with you on that. Carolyn Tarosis. <laughs> it was four score, and so uh, in, in 2016, I met this lady. Um, she came out of nowhere, out of Sean Landers' backyard or something, and we ran a campaign together, and we had the best time, and we were instant friends, and then instant colleagues. I mean, we worked on stuff together. We crusaded all over town. We ended up at the county, at the state level, just doing panels in Sacramento. We used this office as a, as a, a voice for other people and to learn even more about this law and the city. But I mean, I've just, I've never encountered, among all the fabulous people in city government, I just have not encountered anyone who takes this as seriously as you do, to the heart as you do. And you just, you really care about people whom you've never met and you work really hard for them. It's been, it's been beaten into you by your family and you are just a shining example of, of everything um, that I know that they represent for you. And campaigning with you all these years at ADEMS and every, everything else we've done together has just been an absolute pleasure. And like Kurt said, I'm going to miss you here six years plus, but, um, You'll be right across the hall, and we will continue to uh, cause good trouble around this city and region together for many years to come. All right, enough of the sappy stuff. We got some presents. We have prizes. <laughs> she wants to sure. say something. She uh, wants to say something. I'll recognize the council member. <laughs> Except I can't turn on her mic. Yeah, I don't know how to, yeah. I'm still working on figuring that out. Um, so I'll, I will try to keep it brief, but I, I do have some things I want to say in terms of thank you. So first of all, thank you to Santa Monica's for renters' rights, for paving the way um, since the 1970s for us to be able to be here, for advocating not only for our renters, but for our workers, for the folks in our community who need uh, a voice. And that is why I got into politics, to serve as a voice for folks who truly were not representative or represented by their government. So. Thank you, Smur. Um, I just want to say I, I'm very clear on who does the work around here. It's uh, the staff. So it's not, no, it is, it's, it, yes. But I just want to be clear that the only reason we look even moderately good uh, <laughs> is because we have the best staff in the game um, who are working really hard. Yeah, thank you. Um, led by, of course, Tracy, but um, you know, everyone, it's, it's, it's a partnership. And as someone who's worked in local government for a decade, um, I'm not kidding when I say these people really are the best. Um, and I think that we should acknowledge how lucky we are that we've been able to, to keep great talent here in Santa Monica and let's keep it that way. Um, yeah. Um, just really quick. And I, yeah, thank you for taking all the calls since our crazy um, ideas about this 3% uh, increase passed because we're excited about it, but thanks for all the extra work. Um, I'm really proud of the work that we've done. Uh, I think advocating for things like the con improvements to the construction-related decrease process, I still hope that more people are including uh, that in the me their means and methods assessment so that we can help folks who are being relocated um, in uh, in states of construction. I also think that 
capping pass-throughs uh, on future tendencies, making sure that folks weren't being taken advantage of with current pass-throughs, um, especially for our lower-income tenants. Uh, obviously, as Anastasia said, advocating here, advocating at the state, making sure that we made all the changes that we could to the Ellis Act to prevent loopholes, to prevent um, landlords from taking advantage of it. Uh, and then, of course, what we did this year on the ballot, um, not only decreasing our rent increases, but making sure that this rent board has the ability to cap rents in states of emergency on a going forward basis so that we can be more proactive in protecting our tenants, um, making sure that folks who are moving in um, at, to, to units that they own are actually intending to stay there and do stay there so that we're not evicting or increasing rents to market rate for the tenants that are in uh, small rent controlled um, duplexes and triplexes. Uh, all of that's super important, but I think there's still a lot more work to do. Um, I'm still like leaving unfinished with this concept of doing uh, a rent registry for all of our tenants citywide. Um, so that we can more fairly enforce uh, our short-term rental ordinance, our potential uh, pathway towards habitability measures for all of our tenants, um, really important to me. So I hope that we'll keep up that, that work, and I hope to be a partner on city council. And of course, right to council, as was mentioned, um, so important. And I know that that obviously isn't going to happen you know, at the rent board, but hopefully we can all work together in partnership. I think there's still a lot of work we want to get accomplished. Um, oh, and thank you. I, I, I would be remiss if I didn't mention that, that Tracy and team have been doing the yeoman's job of putting all of our records online with this new rent database that's launched. So I think like you're birthing a baby, maybe the, stat, the, t, the, the public doesn't know about it, but new um, Software and, and tech-enabled tools are always uh, very challenging, so congrats on that. Um, and then finally, I would just say I want to thank Todd Flora, Steve Duran, Nicole Phyllis, Anastasia Foster, Erica Leslie, Danny Ivanov, Kirk Gonska for everything that you've taught me, that you've uh, done. Thank you. Uh, thank you, obviously, to Tracy, to Allison, to Tracy, um, and, and to Stephen Lewis, who's not here, who really helped teach me quite a bit. Um, and, and again, I just can't say enough about the staff. You all are the best. Um, and, and thanks to my, my colleagues and thanks to my husband. So appreciate it. And let's continue to, to come up with really, really innovative ideas and work together uh, on city council. Yes, let's. And will you please step over here and get your parting gifts? Oh my God, this is so out of control. <laughs> I can't take credit. Staff staff shops for these and does, did this for you. Thank you. Thank you. Wait, here I have to give them a hug because. Um, by the way, I'm, I'm already bothering them still. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> that's a good thing. Appreciate it. Um, do you need me to open these now? Yeah. Okay. Okay, because everyone wants to see what it is. Yes, we're curious. Should I? Oh, I, I feel like I should. No, you can okay. take the cards. Okay, okay, okay. okay. There should be three cards. Okay. There are. Okay. There are. Yeah. Thank you. Um. <laughs> oh my God, this is pretty pretty cool, guys. It says. Commissioner Tarosis, we got Commissioner Tarosis Santa Monica Rent Control Board, November 2016 to December 2022. Yay! Thank you. <laughs> no, we're around town. I mean, I can't imagine why you wouldn't. I will. I will. I lo no. I genuinely, when Steve Duran got this when he retired, I was very that it was pretty impressive. I was excited about it. Um, you want me to open this? Yeah. Okay. You can. Sorry, these people are like, can we go on to the appointment, it's okay. please? Okay. <laughs> they definitely they definitely are oh my like god this, <laughs> yes there's actual business to attend to i know <laughs> sorry i feel like this oh <laughs> you guys it's a very i'm gonna put it in my office it is a very beautiful plaque that says Commissioner Carolyn Trosis in recognition of your service to the Rent Control Board, November to December, November 2016. Thank you. Okay. Continue your business. <laughs> I'm going back to my seat. I really appreciate it. Oh, 
Yes, thank you, thank you. And if I forgot to thank anyone, I feel really bad, but you're all very important to me. Okay. <laughs> oh, sorry. Hold on. I meant to say Dan, who's sitting right there, Dan Costello. Thank you. Wait, who else are we? Who are? Who did I miss? Alvin. Alvin. And obviously Lonnie, who kept my butt in gear when I first got here. <laughs> That former commissioner, now council member, was uh, my first friend on this board and has become one of my one of my closest friends in my whole life. So uh, we're gonna miss you a lot. Like get off get off our dais. <laughs> Um, okay, item 6B, appointment of applicant to unscheduled vacancy on the Santa Monica Rent Control Board. Can we have a brief introduction to this item? I, no, I can't. Oh, I got a request, sorry. <laughs> We're all learning. <laughs> all right, so due to council, er, council member Tarosis's election, we now have a vacancy on the board. And the charter requires that the board appoint somebody to the position. We talked about this at the December meeting, and the board asked me to publicize the vacancy and to accept applications. By the deadline of um, January 5th at noon, we had received two applications, which, I, which you received as part of your packet. Those were from Lonnie Gwynn and Susan Morrow. And then we received a late application as well from Zoe Montanier. And so you have received all three of those applications. And you've invited those applicants to make a three minute presentation to the board. And so tonight, uh, we'd like to hear from those applicants. And then hopefully the board will make a decision. And then the person will be sworn in and will join the board this evening. OK, thank you. Um, we're going to call them in a random order. So we'll have Zoe Munsoner, we'll have Susan, and we'll have Lonnie. If you'd like to speak on your own behalf. Oh, I have to go first? <laughs> Step right up. No, no, no. I'm asking if, if I need to go first. Are you requesting not to go first? Yes, I am. Okay. Susan, would you like to step up? Uh, thank you, Commissioners and Executive Director Condon. Um, my name is Susan Morrow. Uh, first of all, I wanted to say that the staff that I talked to and the commissioners that I spoke with were very kind and welcoming, welcoming and I just wanted to thank you for that. Um, I have been a resident for several decades, and I earned my master's in business administration at Pepperdine University. I have a municipal experience, both in employee and as a contractor, I have helped several boards, commissions, committees, including the City of Malibu Mobile Home Rent Stabilization Commission. Um, I've assisted, appointed, and elected officials, and I've served as a city clerk. So I understand government code and regulations. I've actually become a point of contact because of my thoroughness and resourcefulness. I started my municipal career in the City of Malibu as a volunteer. I have board experience and I've worked with boards and committees and I've helped train appointed and elected um, officials on protocol. I feel this is one area where I may be able to assist. In regards to my knowledge on rent control units in the city, I've helped people with rental questions or situations by providing them resources that I have discovered over the years. Um, I've assisted an unlawful detainer in the city of Los Angeles and acquainted myself with the Los Angeles housing uh, regulations and the state guidelines. I've um, also acquainted myself with other rent control cities in Los Angeles County uh, based on my municipal experience. Uh, I think, as you mentioned, council member, um, that staff has been doing an excellent job on resources. And I think that's one of the reasons why rent control is an integral part in the city of Santa Monica. 
and I would like to uphold that mission. As a board member, I would promise to work as a team, deliberating matters to conclusion. I would be prepared for the meetings and ready to hear testimony, as I did as a tax hearing officer in another municipality. I've devoted my time and energy to those communities, and now I have a chance to provide an opportunity for my home. I understand the rules of the board to set policy and make decisions on staff recommendations on agenda matters. And I'm ready, I was ready, prepared tonight to address those issues. However, this one was very light and ceremonial, so, um, but I was wanted you to know that. I have developed and monitored budgets and routine assignments that the board conducts as on the policy level, and I've been on committees regulating finances and elections. I understand the desire to have a continuity of board, and that was one of the reasons why I applied, because it's a relatively newly formed entity, although it's been around for a while. That is one way, one way that I could help organizing, because I've Do any of the commissioners have any questions for Ms. Morrow? Okay, thank you so much. And thank you for coming and applying. Thank you. Uh, Lonnie? Good evening, Vice Chair Foster, uh, commissioners, staff, and members of the public. My name is Lonnie Gwynn. I have been a resident of Santa Monica for the past 13 years in the same rent controlled unit with my husband. And like many tenants in this city, were it not for rent control, we wouldn't be able to live in Santa Monica. As a former city employee, I come from a different side of public policy than most of the commissioners that have sat on this board. My experience in government has been with staff on the implementation and enforcement of public policy. And while I feel that would be an asset to serve on this board, I know that I'm asking you to seat me in a position on the other more political side, and that is in the advocacy and policy making. And I look forward to the possibility of serving this community in this new and challenging role if I'm seated. All of us want to serve on this board because of our lived or witnessed experience with tenant issues. As a rent control employee, I had the opportunity to go out into the community and actually see what tenants were experiencing. <clears throat> I visited the homes of tenants who were petitioning for rent decreases due to maintenance issues. And I was surprised, admittedly shocked, at some of the living conditions of these tenants who were asking for no more than a livable home. I visited the horrible construction site where a few tenants had decided to stay in place. And they lived through the noise, the polluted air, the dangerous access, and even harassment. And this wasn't going on for weeks and months, it got into years. I visited Ellis properties that were sitting vacant with maybe an owner in one or two of the units, just waiting for that all important deadline to expire so they could do what they wanted with the property. And I wondered what those previous tenants had gone through when they were prodded or forced to leave their homes. I saw tenants come into our front counter here at City Hall in tears because they'd reached their emotional breaking point. And it might have been for a notice they got from their landlord. It might have been for some ongoing issue in their property. While serving on this board, I would make my decisions based on the law. But it's situations like I just mentioned that motivate me to want to serve on this board. We all need to do all we can to make Santa Monica diverse, more affordable, less transient, and more tenant protected. And as a board, we can do this by our policy making, but far more importantly, by our advocacy. And I do want to shout out to our unbelievable staff that does a remarkable job of doing the implementation and enforcement of rent control law. I thank you for your consideration for this position and look Uh, and congratulate her. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Gwynn. Uh, Zoe? Wow, that was quite a speech. Wow. No notes. Okay. 
Hi, good evening, members of the community and city um, rent control uh, members. Um, I'm a little bit shaken because, I, as I told you, um, I had an encounter with my landlord before coming here, and it's just like God ordained or whatever, but spending two hours in a bathroom, not being able to leave, um, gave me an, a lot of anxiety, and I had to take medication for it, so I didn't have time to prepare my remarks the way I wanted to. Um, I am glad that two other members with incredible experience in policy making are part of your candidates tonight. However, can you put the picture? However, as you can see from this picture, I have the lived experience of living in an apartment where the police, I had to call the police because of high, high harassment. When I had a order of protection, uh, the police came and then listened to my roommate. I'm a Latina woman. I was born and raised in Puerto Rico. I have an accent and I'm fiery by nature um, because I was born that way. But when the police showed and took her side, it emboldened her to hit me on the face. They took my mattress and threw them over the balcony. Can you show the next picture? And it gave me a black eye and a concussion in my head. I have the medical reports. And then when she left, finally, I went to my apartment. And then they accused me of trespassing my own apartment. Uh, and the city attorney decided to prosecute me for trespassing. We informed the city attorney that I was a, um, a member of the lease. And they didn't want to see the lease. The first day of court, we presented the lease and they dismissed the case. This exposed the city to ridicule and scandal. And I kept quiet trying to solve this. But people with experience in the city, lawyers, activists, have failed me over and over. So when you make your decision today, I'm sure that experience weighs big on your decision. But people of exper with experience make mistakes. And my history and my experience is that people with experience failed me in three different occasions, in three different apartments. And we have to select someone that has skin on the game, that has been on the shoes of someone who has been harassed and got a black eye for this. Next picture. And that's why I founded Compassionate Santa Monica back in 2000. With NMS if you, Properties. If you could just wrap up your thought, please. Yes. Your time is up. Um, NMS Properties have been giving the city a black eye the same way I got a black eye. <laughs> and we've been trusting this um, developer for many, many years. And as a resident from one of the properties, I was also harassed, and nobody did anything to help me. So I'm sorry I'm all over the place, but I've been just two hours inside a bathroom, <laughs> and uh, this is not the way I want it to go. Thank you. Thank you for your application. Thank you for speaking. Okay, we'll now go into discussion. Uh, if any of my fellow commissioners would like to speak. I'm sorry, we do have a late request to speak on this item. Oh, okay. From Esther Hickman. Okay. Um, will we agree to take the late speaker on this item by consensus? Seeing no opposition, we'll take the late speaker. Thank you. Okay. Thank you for letting me um, speak tonight. My name is Esther Hickman, and I'm a resident, a local realtor, and a landlord, and, um, and speaking in support of Zoe Montaner. And she is an exceptional person. She is a social justice warrior, and she um, has the utmost integrity and intelligence, and I'm so sorry she was rattled tonight by, um, by some pretty alarming um, management of a property. So um, I think I'm very appreciative of the work that the rent control has done for our tenants and for, I'm a longtime 
resident and so for preserving the landscape of our community and the diversity and I um, and one of the things that's bothered me so much leaving for 20 years um, to and to New York and then coming back is seeing um, how people who need housing most haven't been getting it or people um, who are most marginalized and affected um, haven't been getting it it and I feel that somebody like Zoe um, would be able to be a fierce advocate for the marginalized and the diverse groups that have been displaced. And I personally am one of those horrible people um, with the Ellis Act um, going right now in my duplex. And, um, and I have to say the rent control staff is alarmingly wonderful. And, um, and I, you know, I am concerned um, for my tenant, we've um, we you know been working with them for three years, and um, I'm concerned that they're not getting help. So um, having that sort of advocate um, is really important in our town. I also live in a block um, where there was a violent um, crime done to my friend, my neighbor. Um, she has been maimed um, and lost three teeth, and this is one of four crimes on our affordable housing street. And one thing that I find so fascinating about it is that um, is that 21 parking spaces were taken away from the, this affordable housing building on 17th this year. And so everybody's just kind of like scrambling because we live in the hood where the graveyard crypts were. And um, there is crime every day up and down our street. And I would love to see the role of rent control be expanded to affordable housing and for home ownership and um, opportunities, affordable home ownership opportunities for, um, for tenants. And I feel like somebody like Zoe has, um, I would love to see the rent control board do more because it's housing and it's about protecting people and it's about protecting our land. So I feel like she has all of those talents and capabilities and would be an incredible, addition to the board. Thank, Thank you, you Ms. Hickman. Thank you. All right, seeing no other speakers, we will now enter discussion. Can I hear from commissioners about your choices for the application for appointment? All right. Well, first of all, I want to say thank you to the, the three applicants uh, to uh, put themselves forward for this position. It's always a difficult decision to, to, to decide something like this because, uh, in my view, all three of you um, are exactly what we love to see in Santa Monica. And what we need more of, frankly, is, is ordinary citizens stepping forward, giving their time uh, to help other people. And it's clear to me from your applications and your comments tonight that you all really care about helping other people, your neighbors uh, in this community. So thank you for, for putting yourself forward. And unfortunately, we only uh, can pick one person. Um, so for the others who aren't chosen tonight, I, I hope that you'll stay engaged with the uh, rent control issues and with the board uh, so we can all move forward and make a stronger Santa Monica. Uh, I think one, a couple of things, I would say there are two major things that I looked for. Um, when it comes to uh, my decision for who to who to uh, vote for tonight, one of them is uh, sort of knowledge and and uh, expertise and ability with the issues that we deal with, uh, and I think that uh, Lonnie in particular um, seems to have a tremendous amount of experience uh, on these particular issues, having worked w with the rent control staff for so many years. Um, I think he would bring a valuable. Uh, set of expertise and knowledge to us, uh, especially for myself being a newer member to this board. Uh, and then the second thing I look for is a passion to help people. And uh, I think that I'm also convinced that Lonnie will bring that to this board uh, in addition to his policy expertise, also that passion, that desire to help other people. So um, I'll be supporting him tonight uh, and I would encourage you to do the same. Thank you, Commissioner Gonska. Commissioner Leslie. So as we look at all these applicants, which I every last one of you, I thank you for coming forth. It takes a lot of courage to put yourself out there. 
to advocate for others, not just for yourself. Um, and I, what I can appreciate is the passion for advocacy and for justice. I also can appreciate a knowledge of policy, which I think is very important when you get into a position of this, you know, of this stature to understand exactly what's going on. Um, I just wanted to acknowledge each one of you in your different aspects. Lonnie, you have all of the knowledge here because you've worked here for many years. And I also understand you have the compassion for our residents. And I want to commend you for that first off. Zoe, I also know that you have a passion for your fellow residents as well. I've read all your recommendations um, from your fellow uh, neighbors and people that know you and have, speak to your passion and what you are clear about. And I just wanted to thank you for coming forth. Um, Susan, thank you as well. Um, but as far as what I would vote for, for right now, what I think what this board needs would be Lonnie. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner Leslie. Commissioner Ivanov. So <clears throat> first of all, uh, I want to echo what my fellow commissioner said. Um, thank you to all the applicants for taking the time to apply. Um, I know it's not always an easy thing to do to stand up here and advocate for yourself, so thank you. Um, ultimately, what I was looking for, um, you know, again, is experience and somebody that can hit the ground running on day one because, you know, there's going to be some very important items that come before this board later this year and particularly threats to the rent control charter. And, you know, we need somebody that, like I said, can hit the ground running from day one. We, we don't really have time for, you know, on-the-job training when we have threats to the rent control charter um, that we're facing this year. So ultimately, um, I think every, I think every applicant um, was qualified. I think every applicant you know, brings their unique perspectives to this role. Um, but ultimately, when I'm looking for, you know, who's going to be best equipped to, you know, handle the role from, from day one, um, Lonnie's application stood out to me um, out of the three, and, and that's why I will be supporting tonight as well. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner Ivanov. Um, so I'll weigh in as well. Um, it... I was appointed uh, in early 2016, and um, I first paid attention to this office in about 2014 and quickly found out how much I didn't know. And um, I actually withdrew my um, nomination papers from the city clerk's window and instead went to work for the next two years volunteering, learning about the law, working on the tenants' uh, hotline, volunteering with SMUR, learning more about uh, our processes and our charter and our law and um, while I do very much appreciate everyone who wants to serve because that's all we are we're just you we're just regular citizens of Santa Monica who also wanted to step up and serve um, but the the nuance of our law the intricacies of our law the uniqueness of our charter in the entire state um, uh, we did the same thing when we were looking for a wonderful new general, general counsel. It's got to be somebody uh, who can really, like like Danny said, hit the ground running. So um, while I very much was impressed with Zoe's passion and lived experience and Susan's vast experience in municipalities, uh, it's Lonnie for me as well. Um, we need that kind of leadership and stability going into the future, um, and, and we'd be so glad to have you. So uh, I would like to see if anyone would like to make a motion to nominate someone. Commissioner Leslie. I make the motion to nominate Lonnie. Do I have a second? I'd second that. All right. We had further comment, or was that to second? Okay. Since I didn't hear any other names floated, that's why I decided it was okay to go ahead and entertain a nomination. Uh, will you please call the roll for Lonnie Gwynn as our appointee? Commissioner Gonska. Yes. Commissioner Ivanov. Yes. Commissioner Leslie. Yes. 
Vice Chair Foster? Yes. Motion. Congratulations and thank you to our applicants, Susan and Zoe and Lonnie. Please join us and welcome to the Rent Control Board. You can have Carolyn's chair. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure about that? Uh, Lonnie, welcome. Thank you very much. Welcome to the board. I look forward to serving. Very good. We're glad to have you, and, and uh, we welcome you. I'm sorry, can we take a... All right, so the secretary is going to swear you in. If you will please stand and raise your right hand. Do you, Lonnie Gwynn, solemnly swear or affirm that you will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of California, and that you will faithfully discharge the duties of a rent control board commissioner according to the best of your ability? I do. Please be seated. This is very exciting. Yes. <laughs> this is very exciting. We're five again. We're five again. <laughs> Uh, thank you so much for joining us. Um, okay, we are going to move into public comment, but we do, we, am I correct in thinking we don't have any extra public comment tonight? All right, thank you, Mr. Secretary. Uh, item number 12, administrative items, and the last item on our agenda this evening, selection of chairperson and vice chair, and I'm going to turn this over to staff to run. Right. We need Tracy's. Microphone. All right. So your first decision of the year following the appointment of the new commissioner, and congratulations to you, Mr. Gwynn. Be happy to have you serving with the full elected or rent control board now. So the first item tonight is the selection of a chair and a vice chair. And the way the board has done this in the past is just somebody can make a nomination. We can entertain as many nominations as you have for the position of chair, and then you take a vote on that, and then uh, follow the same process for a nomination for the vice chair. So, yes, do them. That's the way it's been done in the past. Make a nomination for the chair and select the chair, and then for the vice chair. Okay, I see Commissioner Ivanov in the queue. Oh, I wasn't in the queue. Okay. Oh. Sorry. That was must have been left from the last item. Commissioner Leslie. What's that? Let me just say, if you want to speak, Lonnie, you have to. But I don't have a name. Will it show anything? Yeah, um, it'll show. show oh, it's roses. roses. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so, oh, it keeps us Carolyn. Okay. I, it's an honor to be Carolyn tonight. No. <laughs> <laughs> Put it again. I thought to say. Okay, Commissioner Leslie. I nominate Anastasia Foster. For chair. So is there a second? I'll second that. Thank you. I accept the nomination. Uh, can we have a roll call? Are there any other nominations? <laughs> we lost your microphone. Commissioner Leslie. Yes. Commissioner Gwynn. Yes. Commissioner Gonska. Yes. Commissioner Ivanov. Vice Chair Foster. Yes. <laughs> Motion carries. Thanks, you guys. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate your confidence in me, and I will do my best. My second time around as chair in uh, my sixth, my seventh year. So thank you very much. Um, now we will select our vice chair, and uh, is that from the last go round? Okay. And what is seat three? Yes, um, that's fine. Test it out. Um, I don't have any other names in the queue. I'm going to recognize myself, and I would like to nominate uh, Commissioner Leslie to be the vice chair this year. Is there a second for that? I would second that. Are there any other nominations? Can you just leave mine on, please? <laughs> I got lots to say. <laughs> All the time. Uh, see, are there any other nominations for vice chair? All right, seeing none, can we take the roll on that, please? Yes. Commissioner Leslie. Yes. Commissioner Gwynn. Yes. Commissioner Gonska. Yes. Commissioner Ivanov. Yes. 
Chair Foster? Yes. All right. Congratulations, Madam Vice Chair. Well, I guess that means we don't have to move our seats. Yes. <laughs> it, happen it happens to be, uh, except that I believe Lonnie will end up here. Is that correct? Or we can talk about it later? Oops. My it was on. It was on. <laughs> Sorry. We've done that in the past, but given Lonnie's familiarity with the business of the Rent Control Board, I don't think that's necessary, but... It's I agree. I would agree. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and actually I think some of the newer members of uh, our elected board would benefit from sitting in between all of us, so I think that, okay. that works out. All right. Well, that was a fun and ceremonial night, and I appreciate everyone who came to watch and support our, our actions here at the Rent Board. Thank you so much, Susan, uh, for applying. I see uh, Zoe left already. Thanks, Amelia, for attending, and Dan Costello, Tracy Maddie Daub, and Allison Regan, and Tracy Condon, Alvin Ho. Uh, thanks, everybody who came from SMUR to speak on behalf of our wonderful Carolyn Terosis. Thanks for coming to get honored tonight. And welcome, Lonnie. Thank you. Can we have a motion to adjourn? Can I get I a motion? I make a motion to adjourn. <laughs> Bye. Someone yell out a second. Adjourn. Anybody? Anybody? Second. second. All right. All those in favor of adjourning, say aye. 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 We are adjourned. <laughs>